we're stuck like glue. You and me, baby, we're stuck like glue. Oh, we're all stuck like glue. You and me, baby, we're stuck like glue. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you how I apply my false eyelashes. Some tips and tricks for lashes that just have a little bit of a thicker band than what you're used to. And yeah, I've been doing these tricks for a while now. Ever since I've been buying the Coco lashes in the Style Goddess because when I first got them I was like, oh my god, what am I going to do with these? So yeah, if you guys want to see how I apply my false lashes, please keep watching. So to get started, I'm going to be using my Coco Lashes in Goddess. These are an unopened pair. I just wanted to show you guys what they look like in the box. I ordered them off of LadyMoss.com. And these lashes are really, 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 really tricky because the lash band is very 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 thick and it's kind of hard to put them on the first time so what I like to do is first I need to cut them so first I need to cut them and so this one is for my right eye as you can see so this is the shorter part and this is the longer part you want to cut off the longer part so I'm literally just going to cut off the tiniest little bit so I cut off about that much I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one and since these are so thick they don't bend very well so what I like to do is wrap it around my finger it works better when you first take them out of the box because they're sticky so I like to do that it looks really funny but it helps mold the shape of them so it's easier to put them on so I just put it on my finger like that around my little pinky and then I just like to I'll do like an eyebrow or something I don't know why I'm not in focus I'm sorry I'm just I'm kind of frustrated I'm in a vent while this is doing this I just I haven't felt real motivated to be doing videos because I don't know if you guys can hear but there's 11 kids upstairs and it's hard to do videos and I don't like to do voiceovers because I don't feel like I'm good at them and I would rather sit and talk to you guys and then like I don't like my lighting and just being in this basement and my cats and just everything is just driving me nuts. I don't know if like Aunt Flo is going to be coming to visit me pretty soon, but I'm just very, 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 very frustrated. So it's my little venting time while this is doing this. So after about a minute or so, just very lightly peel it off. And then as you can see, it's a little bit more curved. So then I like to take my adhesive this is the duo sorry the lid is off of it so every day I have to peel off like a chunk of glue that's like dried in there this is just the duo eyelash adhesive it's the dark tone one and so I'm gonna put some uh, I'm gonna put some glue on the band of this lash you don't need too too much but because this is thicker I like to put a little bit more on here than I normally would so it should look something like that sorry about my lighting I don't know what is going on today it doesn't usually look like this so I have the glue on this one I'm just gonna set it to the side like where the band is up so it can dry a little bit now I'm gonna do the same thing to this eyelash I'm gonna wrap it around my pinky so that way it can get its shape so just once again wrap it around your pinky and sit here and wait for a little bit and then that it gives that one time to dry so yeah let's just wait so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off put some glue around this one 
And then I'm going to set this one to the side. What is going on with this hair? I don't know. So I'm going to set this one to the side. And now the other one should be ready to go. So I just like to take a pair of tweezers. I like to put it on like the edge closest to like the inner corner. Sorry, I keep moving. I have to grab my mirror. And then I know some people, like, watching YouTubers, I see them, like, put their eyelash on with their eye open. I can't do that. I've tried. It just doesn't work. So I'm going to do it the way that I like to do it. I think it's a little bit easier. So if you guys have problems doing your eyelashes, try to do it this way because I think it's a lot easier. So I just close my eye and I bring the lash as close to the inner corner as I can. And then I just hold it there for about five seconds. So it's on there, and then I like to get the tweezers and get the other, the opposite end of the lash, put it on there, hold it on there for about five seconds. And then I like to take the opposite end of the tweezers, so the bottom end of it, and I just like to push on it just slightly to make sure that it's on. And then once it's on, give it a little push up. And there you go. There's an eyelash. And if you don't get it close to the inner corner, you can take it off if you want. What I like to do is if I like the way it's sitting and everything, it's just not as close. And I cut off the inner corner, like, enough to where it's not in my inner corner because sometimes it pokes you. That's fine. All you need to do is take some eyeliner and line right here and it will blend it in. And it won't look bad, I promise. So now I'm going to take the other eyelash and I'm going to do the exact same thing. So put it close to the inner, like the inner part of it. Bring it close to the inner corner of your eye. Hold it there for about five seconds. And you can use your fingernails for this part if you want to. Or your fingers, not your nails. And then just put it on the outer corner. Hold it. And then just give it a little little push and then push them up so there's the other eyelash I'm gonna grab my liquid liner sorry every time I do my makeup my face itches like around my nose and then like you can't scratch it because then the foundation comes off so I'm gonna get my liner this is just the same liquid liner I used earlier today and I'm just going to line my eye right here and it just helps blend it in and you can always go above it too if you want to above the lash band and there you go Sometimes when you have your eye closed and you have too much glue, it will transfer like to your bottom lash line. And normally I don't do my foundation and stuff before I do my eyelashes just because sometimes you have to like rub right here. I, I didn't get any lash glue here, but some of my eyeliner transferred to the bottom. So I'm just going to wipe that off. And yeah, just throughout the day, I just transferred eyeliner to the top of my eye from pushing on it so you'll want to make sure that's dry before you do this but I just like to push them up so that way they're more up instead of out so yeah once that eyeliner dries you just take the end of like a spoolie and brush it off but you want to wait until it's dry so that way you don't smear smear it so just take, take it off like that and you're good to go. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and I will be right back. So there you go, here's what they look like. I don't know why it's so freaking dark over here, it's driving me nuts. Let me see if I can move my camera. Does, is, does that seem better? I don't know. I'm just, I'm losing my mind. Uh -huh. So here's what they look like. 
I hope you guys liked my tips and tricks. They've worked for me forever. I love these eyelashes, but when I first got them and put them on, I was like, oh my god, I'm not going to be able to do this. So, yeah, these are the tips and tricks I learned over doing eyelashes for so long, and I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys use it. Let me know if it works for you, and yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.